Interference mapping allows you to find the location of an interfering signal with the help of a directional antenna. The instrument saves both the location and direction of the interfering signal on the on-screen GPS map display. And by creating multiple points, the intersecting lines indicate the location of the interfering signal. The data can then be moved out as an image or raw data file for further analysis. To begin interference location mapping, we first capture a map from a third-party map provider with a small PC software package called MapMaster. MapMaster converts the image to an MAP file so it can be read by the instrument. To begin, first run the MapMaster application. Press Capture Map. The program will open a window where you can enter the desired address. The program then loads the specified area. Using the Zoom and Move functions, the desired area can be designated. When done, press Capture Map on the lower right. MapMaster will automatically enter the GPS information and convert to an MAP file. Once finished, save the file onto a USB stick. You can then insert the USB into the instrument's USB port. The instrument has many different mode capabilities, but for interference location mapping, you have to be in the Interference Analyzer mode. One way to enter this mode is by accessing the main menu, pressing the Interference Analyzer icon, pressing the Interference Mapping soft key to highlight the selection, and then by touching the key again to enter the menu. Interference mapping also requires the use of the GPS function. You can turn the GPS on or off and change other settings through the GPS submenu. Once GPS is on, the instrument locks on to at least three satellites and you can now interference map. GPS is now on, so you can now open the map file just created. From the interference mapping menu, go to the Save Recall Points map and press Recall a Map. Find the map on the USB and press Enter to open it. The image from the converted map then appears on the instrument screen. After all of your equipment is ready and set up, you can now start interference mapping. Move to the needed location outside. The instrument will automatically set your position in reference with the on-screen map. In the interference mapping menu, pressing the speaker soft key turns the sound option on or off. If on, a series of beeps helps find the direction of where the interfering signal is strongest. With the directional antenna, perform a 360 degree turn. Find the direction of the strongest signal and use the dial to indicate the direction relative to the map. Press Save Current Point Location and Direction to save the point. Repeat the steps as necessary. The multiple locations saved create an intersection point, which indicates the location of the interferer. When finished and the interfering signal is found, you can now export the results. From the Save Recall Points Map submenu, select one of three save options. When saved as a KML file, the points can be opened once again by the instrument or with Google Earth for inspection. You can also save it as a JPEG for easy viewing or as a tab delimited file to see the raw data in an Excel spreadsheet. Use Change Save Location to save it to the USB drive and from there, a computer. The KML file can be opened by the program Google Earth. Google Earth will automatically move to the mapped area and plot the points. The points can also be clicked on so that their individual information can be analyzed. Alternatively, if you save the file from the instrument as a JPEG, the JPEG can be opened and the map with the points can be viewed for easy analysis. A tab delimited file can be opened with Excel or another software program so each point can be accurately analyzed. That concludes our demonstration. For more information about interference location mapping using the Anritsu E-Series and C-Series Spectrum Master, Cell Master, and Psych Master, please see the Anritsu website and the Interference Location Mapping Application Note.